Okay. So if you go to my Twitter feed, you'll see the, both the announcements, page approvals, and reminder flows. Uh, that's what I was I was initially showing. And then um, I will just refresh this page just to so just so we are clear. Um, so here um, I'm going to show you the reminder flow demo. So reminder flow is a pretty uh, something that I quite like uh, based off of the columns. So you can see your contact renewal date. And if you now drop um, open the flow menu you will see that you have a new option called set a reminder contact renewal date. This only appears if you have a date column, custom date column. If you don't have a custom date column, this set a reminder option would not appear in your list or library. So it's very contextual and it's uh, basically trying to suggest something to the user that you can do some actions using flow. So now as soon as I do that, um, I'm going to get the option to create a flow. So I can just, uh, you know, change the title to be relevant to whatever I want. Uh, remind me this many days. So I can obviously put five or two. Let's put one the default and then click create. So now this will create a flow for my, myself and it will basically be set up to ensure that it can remind you a day before if any contract is due. So now immediately got an email because the flow got created. It, it at least uh, ran once. So if I go to my mail, you can see that I do have one document that is going to be due in a day. And you can see that here, uh, 112. Sorry, uh, not the 112, 111. And I get knocked in traders and I say, hey, you have one uh, document, uh, you know, to be reminded before the contract renewal date. So it's pretty simple. And if users are very familiar with Flow, they can basically go to their Flow site and under My Flows, they will see the Flow they created. So they have full control of this Flow. And by default, this Flow runs every day with the recurrence trigger. You can go change uh, the timing, the time zone, uh, however you want this to run, whether it's every day or every month or every week. And then you can see the logic that we use and it's pretty uh, cool uh, to go and build this because I think there are some uh, uh, tips and tricks in this flow itself if you want to gather how we build this thing. Uh, so the first thing is we capture the input and then we update it here in the flow in a variable and then we get the profile uh, to ensure that we know who we are sending this to and then we create the query uh, using which we can filter the items from the list. So basically we're looking at today plus x days and the next days plus one. So we're doing so that we can accommodate date and time because some columns would also have time um, along with it. So this is basically uh, trying to do some mathematical calculation to arrive those dates. And then uh, we're getting the list name. So right now this is basically uh, a thing that we have. We can use HTTP request, but I think once we go to uh, full 100%, you will see the template actually not having this action. Rather, we would send it across uh, from SharePoint to Flow. So ignore this uh, for now. And then finally, in the get items, you have the filter query. So the filter query is basically now constructing the REST API query if you want to filter the items based on date. Um, and this is where it gets more complicated, but at least out of the box, if you don't change this action for the user, it's basically, hey, I created this flow, it's working, or is it not working? And then once I get the items, I go through loop, and then for each, I generate uh, the, get the metadata, and then send a reminder email. Um, now, one of the things you can see here in apply to each is that um, I basically use a string variable and then uh, append uh, it using the table row uh, syntax in HTML so that then when I actually put the HTML in the uh, email, it will now look very beautiful the way I want it to look like, for example, over here. Um, so there are some really good tidbits if you want to go look at this flow, how it works and, and what we have done. And if you want to send this along, uh, not just to yourself, but to your team, you know, you could do that. If you want to send this to your manager, you know, you got get my profile, so you could get that as well, uh, for whichever the user uh, manager is. So there are a lot of good things here that we would be improving across the uh, uh, different uh, stages of this flow. So right now, this is what we got with the reminder flow. And this is something, uh, this, this idea of suggesting flows based off of column type 
I think we would do more about this. So, for example, if you wanted, if you have a people uh, picker or a people column, person column, uh, and you want to remind uh, something about to that person when uh, something happens, right? Um, so those kind of scenarios, we're looking at it. So if you have any more scenarios that you have been working across, uh, do let us know. And try this out. Uh, let us know. This is a very small feature, but I feel like this is something that will be very useful. Um, so let us know any feedback you have.